everybody, it's Gardner, your friend and your guy from Linode. I'm here today with Adam, or known, also known as Cheese Online. How's it going, my friend? It's going great, man. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, so uh, you work for System76, and uh, you're on the marketing team. Um, could you tell me like a little bit about like how you personally use uh, Linode? Yeah, sure. So uh, I think like many Linux nerds, we all get into uh, setting up our own little boxes and then we realize how inexpensive it is to set up a VPS and kind of get going that way. Yep. So, you know, I think like a lot of people, you start, you know, you may start with DigitalOcean or Vulture or, you know, AWS. There's a, there's a ton of offerings out there. Uh, but for me, uh, once I started going to Linux conferences and once I, once I started participating more in those kind of events, uh, it really stood out to me that Linode was really the only one at these community events. Uh, and I, they graciously gave me some swag, which, which didn't encourage me, but I do like the swag because it's really nice. But uh, it was at that point that I kind of had an epiphany, like why am I not supporting these guys? You know, they, they're here supporting the community. Um, they're here bringing this event and this video right now, uh, you know, to the internet. So why, why wouldn't I be on board with those guys? Their passion is exactly, you know, the, the same passion. And, and I think they really exude that throughout the community. So uh, for me, it was, it was pretty simple. You know, I decided, well, I'll switch over from, you know, just DigitalOcean and let me see what VPS, you know, offerings Linode has. Let me jump on there. And then, uh, you know, built out uh, Linode that uh, currently I'm using uh, Cloudron, which is one of their one clicks. Yep. Uh, if your viewers have not checked out Cloudron, they should. We, we have a video on the channel about Cloudron too. Like, actually, several of them. Yeah, well, and, and it's worth it. It's, yeah. I mean, it's, um, yeah, things are extrapolated away from you a little bit. You know, I think if you still have that knowledge, you can get in. But I mean, that's the situation with, with most container sort of uh, software now, nowadays anyway. So if it's, if it's Docker, if it's, uh, you know, what, however you deployed it, um, it's still a container, uh, but I did have some, I did have some growing pains with Linode. Uh, so I had Cloudron set up, uh, and right now I'm running Nextcloud in that instance. Um, I filled up my Nextcloud instance oh. and that filled up my server, filled up my VPS. So I was like, well, what do we do here? So I submitted a support ticket and then I used my brain and I, canceled the support ticket. So I increased the size of my Linode, uh, did, did the work I needed to do there to get everything back, get everything saved, uh, hooked up some object storage to that mm. instance, and then was able to d scale my Linode down again. So now I'm uh, you know offloading to object storage and I don't have to worry about expanding past you know where I need to be or filling up my box again, um, which is a really nice feature. And something I think, you know, for me, uh, that some other providers don't include is that you can scale up your VPS, but you can't step it back down, yeah. right? And so that's a significant thing, right? Like if you're going from a, you know, $10 a month, month box to a $40 a month box because of something like my instance where I filled up the VPS, I would have really had no other option other than to create another instance, migrate over, then figure out the object storage and get it attached. Whereas with Linode, I was able to scale that and shrink it back down with no problem. So That's super cool. It's really uh, fascinating how uh, Linode can support so many different uh, use cases. Uh, you said you use um, Nextcloud on, from uh, the Linode uh, VPS. What else do you run on, on Linode? Uh, right now, it's just Cloudron and Nextcloud. Um, I have, you know, Cloudron has its own app ecosystem, its own container ecosystem, uh, and that's growing day by day. And it, so, uh, you know, I've experimented with other things like Minecraft servers, right? And just, just little things to spin up to have fun with real quick. But then usually if, I'm, if they're not being utilized, I'll just power those down. Uh, it, but Nextcloud it, consistent is, is kind of my consistent, uh, you know, uh, software stack that runs on, on Linode. Uh, and it's been, it's been really good to me. I, I would say... Um, you know, Linode has a, a lot to offer when it comes to that. Um, if you're just in it for a one click, they've got you covered. If you want to build up from a, you know, a bunch of $5 instances, you can do that uh, previously on DigitalOcean. And, and I think part of why I migrated to uh, Linode and Nextcloud uh, was, was previously on DigitalOcean. I had like, I think it was three or four or $5 a month boxes. Uh, I had to set up traffic 
and or reverse proxy and get get all that set up. But I had a um, IRSSI instance uh, set up so that I could just hang in IRC all day. Um, I had a, a gallery instance. I forgot the name of the gallery. Uh, I had Nextcloud and I had fresh RSS so I could, you know, kind of log in and have this one place to get all of the things that I needed, you know, to, to read my news feeds and stuff like that. Well, since Nextcloud has matured, a lot of that stuff can be brought into Nextcloud now, right? So you have Nextcloud news, you can just pull in your OPML file for all your RSS feeds. So it was an easy export out of fresh RSS right into. Um, and then nowadays I'd basically just connect to IRC, you know, when and where needed. So I don't really have like an egg drop, you know, that just sits there uh, on IRC anymore to, to do that for me. But um, for me, like I said, moving over to Linode, adopting, uh, and as that kind of conversion happened, Nextcloud got a little more mature uh, and allowed me to do a lot of the stuff that I was having to spread over uh, multiple boxes at DigitalOcean. I was able to scale that all down, spend a little bit more money, get a little more RAM, you know, get the niceties, the things yeah. you like, right? And then uh, uh, progress from there, so. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about Linode is like the simple and predictable pricing scheme as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I want to thank you for uh, spending time with me today, Absolutely. telling me your story. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thank you to Linode, uh, Jupiter Broadcasting, and System76 for their support today. And we'll see you guys in the next one.